Um, Whitney and Thayer Woods is very user friendly. You'll see on that tree over there, there's a number three. You will find a corresponding number three on a map. And it's right by this guy who's called Bigelow Boulder. And that's also on the map. So I encourage you, if, you know, if you're in this neighborhood to come out and do this on your own. Um, I've been taking some friends from my Tai Chi class out on this thing and a couple of them ventured out on their own and they did really well until they came to a landmark for the second time and said, oh dear, how did that happen? So it's easy to get turned around, but with the numbers, you can find your way back. So uh, how passable they would be today, but it looks like they're not bad. So we're gonna, we're gonna go down behind there to a little hollow with a wooden bridge crossing a very pretty little creek the wooden bridge is a little bit uneven and the wood can be slippery. So be careful when you get down to that wooden bridge. Yeah, that's the that's the base of the tower that's up there. Is somebody supposed to throw that? I, that's a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay. You all did really well on that wilderness section. Um, so I think we'll do one one more wilderness section on the Bancroft Trail. Um, are you all comfortable with this? Yeah. yeah year because of the way the climate of I mean and there was a time in the spring when the floor uh, well sort of early summer the forest floor um, was littered with chopped up leaves from the gypsy moths and the leaves in the trees were getting sparse over there on that beech tree there you will see a bunch of sort of beige clumps yeah. attached to the bark and those are the gypsy moth egg cases um, sometimes I come through with a stick and just scrape off as many of them as I can. And it's an exercise in futility, but I can't help it. Um, they really like the beech trees, so you'll find a lot of them on that. As you walk by, just look, look to your right, you'll see them there. Um, you'll also see there's a lot of very mature white pines in this forest. Um, and we'll come to an area where there's a lot of baby white pines kind of all over the valley. So they're, they're among the prettier trees. We have hemlocks too, we have white oak, black oak. Uh, Which one's a white pine? What? A white Any, pine. Anybody? You must know, right? The five needles. The five needles, okay. W -H -I -T. Yep. So white has five letters and white pines have five needles. So red pines, which uh, I just learned have been decimated by some moth. moth. Yeah. Um, we don't have very much anymore. So, and guess how many needles a red pine has? Yeah, oh. so convenient. <laughs> right. um, okay, we're going to head up this little trail here. Um, there's there's an old well, just a very pretty stone well. Well, what's how far down? Is it? That's oh. at least ten cents worth of recycling. I was going to say, oh, Rich, you want to get them? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> Got it? Ah, Budweiser. The trustees of reservations wanted to put a, uh, a wind turbine up there, but um, some neighbors thought that the flicker shadow would impair their children's health. Um, it actually there, does down in Plymouth. They had to shut one down. Yeah, yeah. For that very reason. Yeah. There, there's a lot of misinformation out there about those. Uh, cell towers are probably more dangerous. Um, nobody seems to mind those, but hey. You can't see it. <laughs> We, we call that wind turbine our, yeah. our neighbor Millie. Um, and yeah, I, I live a few hundred feet from it. Oh, I mean, that's fantastic beach, isn't it? Just, just across from Okay, yeah, I cleaned it up when I yeah. went to the beach. So, so the wind turbine is on top of the landfill that holds it in the process of closing. Beyond it, you can see some of the harbor islands. There's a bar here. Yeah, so Red 
Gretel. Easy. Gretel. Gretel. Yeah. What's your dog's name? Budgie. Budgie. Yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gretel was tired. I know. I thought she was tired too. But when uh, she feeds so another dog. No, 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 no. They love to play. That's why I cracked it. Don't see that too often. So what made the holes in the ice? 